Hi guys, hope you're doing well. After another week in the red, crypto could well be starting to find the bottom. We're going to take a look at what is going on right now in the charts. I'm jumping it over to the Ethereum chart, guys. I bought you a couple of videos last week talking about these demand zones uh, and as well as that supply zones. Now, I want to draw your attention to some things that have happened uh, in these sort of areas and why I use zones rather than just solid lines of support and resistance. Now the reason I look at these rather than lines of support and resistance, if I was to draw this as a line of resistance, which you can see we hit twice here, obviously here I might think that I've broken it and I would be going into a long position, but obviously lo and behold we would have then been absolutely ripped and wrecked towards the downside. Now what I would like to do guys, which is a really powerful trading strategy and is ultimately able to be quite successful, is picking zones of demand or zones of supply like the red box up here and combining them with some sort of technical analysis patterns which ultimately when I'm trading Forex I don't like to look at so much because it's a much more liquid market and very much more dominated by money from institutions because there's something like 6.1 trillion dollars traded every day in Forex whereas obviously crypto is significantly smaller than that. But what we can see happening right now on the Ethereum chart, as well as over on the Bitcoin chart, and we'll take a look at that in a moment, is we've got a nice bit of doubling up of kind of a couple of key things. So not only have we come into this area down here, and I am aware guys, we have ripped well down before this, and obviously crypto is volatile, right? These zones are guides, guys, right? Okay, this is where I'm looking to accumulate crypto. And obviously down here, obviously would have even got more lucky trying to accumulate down here. But we're having a bit of consolidation. And what I want to talk about is what is actually happening uh, in these patterns. Think about what is really showing right now. And then we can kind of understand where we think it's going to get pushed to one direction or the other. Now, people will tell you that there's like an equal chance we break out here. Or here and this does change across Forex and crypto well we've got here like a bottom coming up and, and each time these loads are getting bought up at higher levels so this is showing that every time the price is dropping people are not being as patient they're not waiting for it to come lower and lower but they're willing to buy at a higher price so here it went all the way down to 993 and then the next time 1025 1041 and now 1046 maintaining the same line which is being sold off at now this is showing that the price is being squeezed in a more bullish direction it doesn't mean that we can't be rejected and have a crash towards the downside but when combining the factors of this demand zone down at the bottom along with this chart pattern and ultimately what is happening on the bitcoin chart then we can start to estimate what is really more likely to happen Obviously, you know, this doesn't always play out either. But so after building this picture, we can then jump across to Bitcoin because we know when Bitcoin moves, Ethereum moves as well. And we've only got to look at the crypto bubbles to know that if Bitcoin was to fall 9.1%, Ethereum with a slightly smaller market cap will fall a little bit more, which is why it fell 12.6% comparatively uh, against Bitcoin. So we can see, guys, uh, something else playing out on the Bitcoin chart. We've got our demand zone, which is obviously the green zone. And and we're obviously drawing that on guys because it was the obvious accumulation zone uh, before this massive rip and basically the start of all the kind of what really got people excited in the end of 2020 bull run. Now we could also double this up guys with a chart pattern and uh, we've had kind of hits like this and we can see obviously this pattern has broken out towards the upside. It's come back and retested and right now is on a further push towards the upside struggling to break around nineteen and a half thousand dollars as we speak but the technical target for here would be back up at 21746 but what is really causing this kind of like push coming from here so but i want to show you something that's really significant and this is really what's kind of controlling crypto right now we dropped down to the 19th of june we came back up and we painted this and we're starting to look a little bit more bullish again what is it that's driving this well I want you to pay attention to this up here where it says BTC USD. Why would the BTC price be able to go up unless the USD price was going to go down? If obviously the USD is going up in general, then Bitcoin will be falling because it's against that. In order for one to go up, the other must come down. But looking into the DXY guys, obviously we've seen this move sort of around a similar time that we saw that drop in the Bitcoin price. We we then saw Bitcoin kind of putting in a pattern kind of like this, although we haven't completed the next leg of this right now. DXY is the highest it's been pretty much for the last 20 years. 
But what is really very interesting is obviously I've got my supply zone because it stops me buying into the red and I want to buy into the green and sell the red. But what I can see guys is a lot of exhaustion candles coming in here. See, previously we we're unable to hold these levels in this supply zone. Again, we've got a couple of wicks, although not as well established as before. But what is showing that is very interesting is that we could be forming some sort of a double top in the DXY or the dollar index price. The DXY is basically taking into account all the US dollar pairs and how the US dollar is performing against it, obviously. Uh, what we can see, guys, is something interesting playing out. The DXY breaks down below this zone down here and is unable to hold it as a sort of support zone or an accumulation zone and we see something like this happen then this could well be the trigger for the next bull market push for crypto that's not saying that there's not a potential that it might do this you know obviously trading follows certain patterns and it sort of adheres to some rules but most of the time not all the time and that's what we've got to be aware of guys if we have the dxy doing something like this and then we could see perhaps in coordination with the dxy falling that the ethereum bitcoin and the rest could be doing the opposite now obviously not guarantee guys and as i've said this push up here you know it looks very good and exciting when we look into it on a smaller time frame but you've only got to zoom out to realize there's a lot of work to get back up towards here and even if we do start to see a bit of a push you're going to need a lot of excitement and stuff to enter back into the crypto market. But by the law of the network effect, which you've probably seen Raul Powell talking about quite readily on YouTube, the more people that are using or interacting with a particular product, the more that product will ultimately be worth in the future. And each time we have a cycle of up and down in crypto, there's many people who missed out on previous opportunities to buy and that's not just individuals like you and me but that's also institutions who are now starting to pay attention to what is going on we're taking some pain right now in crypto guys but it's going to end when it ends no one really knows where the bottom is no one exactly knows but what i do know is right now the value of ethereum is much lower than i believe it is worth and how do i know that well, because in the past it's gone up to $4,800 and the same product, if not a product that's actually about to have a massive upgrade, is currently 349% back to all time highs. Trying to pick the bottom is a risky game. Knowing right now that I'm somewhere near the bottom makes life much easier and much less stressful for me. So this is where I intend to load up on crypto, but not financial advice. Always go away and do your own research. Guys, I hope you have a cracking day in America. Enjoy your holiday smash the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the House of Crypto, then make sure you subscribe to be kept to date with all of the latest happening. See you very soon with another video. Bye-bye.